everybody, it's Terry, and this is going to be an orchid spotlight. And today I am doing a spotlight on this species orchid, which is Dendrobium fasciferum. And this Dendrobium is in a section called Cuminatum. Sorry for the glare. This is fasciferum. That is how it blooms. Again, it is in the section Cruminatum. They all pretty much grow similar. So let me just read the culture. So it says plants can be grown several ways, but some are less fussy, like less fussying over than like Cruminatum. Uh, higher light than Phalaenopsis. Looks like Fasciferum will grow well, but in lower light growths are extremely elongated and leggy in lower light because they're, you know, stretching to the light. Um, and it does say the flowers are more spaced and much lighter, duller in color. In good light, full sun canes and stems are shorter. Flowers are together closer, more produced with deeper, more vibrant color. Uh, of course, with more light, more water. <laughs> Now let's look at my plant. So as I said, it said, it produces short, fat bulbs with good light, taller, longer bulbs with spindlier growth um, and lower light. So my light, my pseudobulbs are short squat. So I believe that they're getting good light. This week, the reason I'm doing this is because I've noticed that this plant is starting to put up spikes and put up spikes from old stems and here's a new one right there that's a spike and I know that there's a few others around here and the spikes are very long-lasting flowers are it's a nice color so yeah I was saying that mine is producing spikes. There's one there. Um, and I've seen others around the plant. It is capable of putting them up on older canes. And I think that that's what that is happening there. Those nubbins right there are probably going to be spikes. But uh, again, it is in sphagnum moss. It gets a lot of water. It's in the summertime. It sits it's on the rack over there, gets southern light. This is southern, it gets on, it's on the eastern side, so it gets really good light. Um, in the wintertime, it sits under the LED light that's on the rack in, in the window a little bit low. So it's not, it gets a lot of light from that LED though. Um, so it is getting good light, obviously. So I'm really happy that I'm gonna be seeing blooms. But let's go on, this is padded, potted up. These plants are can be grown, potted, or mounted. Um, uh, lighter than for Phalaenopsis to full sun. You want them to always have as much light as they can handle without burning it. it says they like abundant water. Um, pretty much that. No fertilizer during the winter months. And cruminatum is characterized by those swollen pseudobulbs brought on by temperature drop. And my other cruminatum, well, this is actually cruminatum that I've shown before. It has a similar growth habit. This is actually stimulated. Their flowers are stimulated by temperature drop and drop in barometric pressure. But you can see how it is the same kind of growth habit. Canes that a definite terminal spike at the end. This is a new growth. You can see how fat that is as opposed to these that are long and slender. Fat. That's cremonatum. That's like a thunder thunderstorm orchid, I believe, or the, the pigeon maybe thunderstorm, but it's named that way because it is the blooms are stimulated by thunderstorms or just dropped in the barometric pressure. But anyway, folks, thanks for watching. And enjoy your orchids.